Hey guys, Andrew here for Euro Day 7, I believe it is now. Been a f nearly a week. Well, it's the tournament started uh, on Friday. So that'll be tomorrow. So we got more games today, more games to be excited about. And yeah. Uh, starting with yesterday's action. Um, the first game was Turkey and Wales. It was. Um, not Turkey, Wales. Sorry, I'm only just up, so I'm all over the shop here. But no, the first game was Finland and Russia. Um, got confused there because of the way they played the game sometimes. But yeah, Finland and Russia ended 1-0 to Russia. I told you guys it wouldn't be a great game. I told you it'd be a bit of a physical game. And it was. Neither team were good. Neither team deserved to go through. But would, I think... One, maybe both of them will. Uh, Russia at least tried to play a bit of football now and again, I suppose. So they probably earned the 1-0 win. Uh, Finland just tried to get somebody on the break. Not great football. And, yeah. Next game was... Um, it actually was Turkey and Wales then. Uh, so, yeah. The Turkey-Wales game... Was 2-0 to Wales. What did I make of Turkey in the game? Uh, Turkey went good. Wales were better. Turkey have been such a disappointment in this tournament. I not I predicted them to be dark horses. Hold my hands up. So many people did though. A lot of us thought that Leon's sort of side of that uh, team would, you know, work together, gel, and it didn't gel. And sometimes, in international football, you get a team with great players that doesn't gel. Like England 2008, you've got um, Poland, never really gel. They've got a good team, though, so you'd expect more, but they don't gel. Uh, and yet, it didn't work for Turkey. And Wales, well done, looks like you're going into the last 16. I thought... Used to going out in the group stage with maximum one point I did. But now you prove me wrong. Fair play Wales. And good luck in the last 16. See if you can beat Italy. To see if they can win the group. That will be interesting. I don't think they will but we'll see. And Italy and Switzerland. Um, it ended 3-0 Italy. Italy are too good. Simple as that. Italy are definitely serious contenders for the Euros. I did predict them to win it. We're going to see if I think I could be right. Do I think they could win it? Still, yes, I do, definitely. I'm going to keep saying Italy, so yeah. Good trainer win Italy. Switzerland could never really get in the game, and yeah. So on to predicting today's results. Starting with Denmark and... Be no... Sorry, Ukraine and North Macedonia, I guess. I hate the way that they stupidly, like, because I check my phone, I'm not going to even lie, to see when the fixtures are coming up in the video so I don't forget the players. Why on earth do they have the, like, say, some games will have, like, a Group D game first and two Group C games, and then another Group, maybe then even a Group E game and then the Group D. It's confusing. But, yeah, we start off with Ukraine and North Macedonia. Um, I think Ukraine are too good for North Macedonia. I didn't think that much of North Macedonia when they played Austria. I really didn't. I thought Ukraine played really well against Netherlands. So I'm going to say 2-0 to Ukraine. I think, uh, it's, I just think it'll be too easy for Ukraine. Uh, who do I think will get the goals? I think, uh, my boy... Malin Scalfi, you know, Atalanta midfielder will score. And I'm going to predict um, Jarman Chunk, the guy for Ghent who didn't score the other day, who I said would. I don't think he scored anyway. I'm half asleep, but yeah. Uh, no, I'm pretty sure he didn't score. So I'm going to say he'll score his goal. 2 0 Ukraine, North Macedonia packing their bags after this game. Uh, next game is actually Denmark-Belgium. Belgium 
really good. Denmark need a result in this. And I know it's so unfair on them about the Finland game. And it looks like they could suffer by going out. So what do I predict? I'm going to go with a bit of a shock. Going to cause a bit of a shock. One all draw. I do, I've got a feeling, you know, Denmark will get a point today. I don't know why I just have that weird feeling. You know, at home, have the home crowd behind them. And I think a good old, you know, Poulsen goal is in order for them. And for Belgium, well, I, I think I'm going to say, I'm going to say Eden Hazard will score a goal for Belgium today. I think it be his day in front of goal. And yeah, I'm going to say 1-1. One, one. And finally, ending the day with Netherlands and Austria. I uh, haven't really thought about this as a prediction yet. Netherlands look good up front, but shaky at the back. So uh, there's only one thing I can do to sum that game up. 2-1 Netherlands, I think. Um, I think Austria will get a goal, but I think Netherlands are too good up front for them. And I think... Uh, the pay will get his goal today, I hope, anyway. And I'm going to say, beside him, um, what's the guy's name? Workhurst, uh, Wolfsburg striker, I think he'll get a goal. I think the two strikers will score for the Netherlands. And I've got a feeling that um, Sabester will score the goal for Austria. I know I think I predicted him the other day, but I'm gonna, we're going to go with him again. And yet, as I say, 2-1 Netherlands. Yeah. As I say, guys, see you tomorrow. We got England and Scotland. Cannot wait for that. It's coming second home.